Hey everyone, day 5 of 2023 Glow Skin Gems. Today we're talking again about serums, but now we're doing the nighttime or PM routine serums. So like I mentioned yesterday, in my PM routines, what I tend to focus on in the serum category is like the treatments, like the heavy hitters, like the retinol, retinoids, AHA, BHA, the active ingredients, and also the like soothing ingredients that I like to pair with that. So let's get started. First of all, I'm starting off with Dew Skin Deliverance. This is a fantastic serum to have in my routine to help soothe the skin and in conjunction with other products. I believe this is sold out right now and it has been sold out for a while. So, I mean, get your hands on it when you have a chance. It can be good for helping with things like fine lines or in my case, uneven skin tone and helping with um, irritation and sensitivity in the skin. It has Dew Skin's 1% encapsulated cannabinoid complex. That's their like proprietary thing with this product also has various peptide complexes and it has niacinamide, which my skin always loves. I will say that this is quite pricey, but again, I like to spend the money of skincare in the serum category, so this is the type of thing that I would go for. So in conjunction with that, I have the heavy hitters that I would put in my nighttime routine. And this year I'd use tretinoin for a good chunk of the year. If I would, there's probably like one serious treatment product I would say does the most for my skin, I would say it's retinoids and being on tretinoin did a really good job, but also, Tretinoin is not as like easy to get here in the US and so over-the-counter products can be great And one that I have loved this year is the peach and lily retinol. This is the retinol for all renewing serum. It has 0.1% uh, retinol. I used this for um, Like two or three months at the beginning of the year and I also used it um, a, a bit in the past couple months as well the break in between using tretinoin and this did a great job giving me good results at the beginning of the year and also it's been doing a good job to help upkeep my results from tretinoin. 0.1% retinol can be kind of strong but um, my skin is used to it. I've used 0.05% tretinoin before my skin is fine so uh, my skin can handle this type of thing but maybe if you're like new to retinoids or retinol this is probably not the product for you it might be a little bit too strong or you can just start out using it um, less often and build up to daily use or um, every other day. I think the number one thing I saw with this was improvements in skin texture. When I was using this consistently, probably after like two or three weeks, I was just noticing my skin was just very smooth. And of course with prolonged use, it can also help with lightening dark spots. Retinoids in general do a really good job at helping to control my breakouts, so I knew this would be an instant pick for me when I saw how great it was working for me. Last up, I have a combo of two products from Cypher Skincare. Um, I've used them together and I've used them separately and both have been both, both ways have been great. So first up I have Night Shift. This is their holistic tone balancing treatment. Their products have so many star ingredients packed into it and like new age technology when it comes to what they wanna do. And I find that this is a really nice like all-in-one type of serum, hydrating, soothing, helping to target dark spots and brightness and radiance in the skin. I don't find this to be like the most aggressive form to target dark spots, but keeping this in my routine consistently definitely does do the job and help to lighten them and even out my skin tone. It has lots of key active ingredients. It has enzymes, has, um, I believe what's here is a acetic acid derivative, alpha arbutin, niacinamide, um, metacasicide, prebiotic microalgae, beta glucan, there's a lot more stuff. That's just the stuff that stuck out to me. But of course there's like the other ingredients that I don't even know about because they're just uh, not as popular. But I just think their formulas in general are fantastically put together. And the next one I have here is Control Z. This is their multi-corrective uh, overnight facial. Now when they say overnight facial, I really mean that with this product. Very rarely do I find products that like I see it almost instant results. The smoothness in this is for real. I'll use this at night. Next day I wake up and I go to wash my face and I'm like washing my face and wondering like why is my skin feel so smooth? And it's because I used this the night previously. So this one has more acids in it. It has mandolic acids, lactic acid, salicylic acid, it has um, enzymes in it, peptides in it, it has brightening ingredients, uh, soothing ingredients. This one is more of like a heavy hitter and you might be getting like some sensitivity from it if you overuse it or use it too often. So dial back the usage on this one. Probably don't use it like every single night, but I don't find it too like overly strong on my skin. But if you're looking to like resurface the skin and deal with skin texture, breakouts, um, dark spots, everything in one product, this is probably the one to go for. I feel like these both do kind of similar things and that's why I think they work well together and great separately as well. Night Shift is probably more on the less aggressive, like soothing side of things, still effective, but can be used every single day or twice daily. Their products are expensive. Both of these I think are around like $150. However, the formulas are very expensive and well built out. Um, and also you get a lot of product for them. These are both 
50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces, so almost double of what you get in most normal serums. So if you, if you adjust the price, it's not that much more expensive than like other serums that I mentioned or like the other big name serums on the market. And also I do think they have a sale going on right now until December 10th. So if you want to check these out, that'd be a good time to get them on sale. They don't do them that often. They're like a small business or indie brand. So they don't have sales that often. So take advantage of that. And that was going to be my serum picks for the PM routine today. Um, if you have any favorites in these, let me know. Or if you have any favorite serums that you enjoyed this year using in your nighttime skincare routines, let me know in a comment down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the moisturizers.